Logically speaking, we started summer June 1st because we do those three month blocks, but uh, it just has not felt like summer around here and you're sure not going to be out on the beach in weather like this. It's overcast. It's dreary and look at that. We've got these occasional showers hanging around. You've got a pretty good pop of some light to moderate rain up around the Toyota plant, Georgetown, also north of Winchester and Clark County there. You may hear a rumble of thunder at times. There's some showers out east, so we've got a little bit of coverage this morning. Also down through Stanford, Danville, you've got some showers around. So uh, that moisture just will not go away, and it's uh, all caused by the same low that will not go away. Three days ago, that low was right about here. Yesterday, it dropped down toward the Tennessee border, and then overnight and into this morning, it has dropped farther south. And it continues to be an influence because it just continues to pull this moisture in from the southeast. So today will probably be our lowest chance for rain. Uh, we had big breaks in the activity yesterday and not everybody got wet. Very similar setup today. You could end up partly sunny at times, then cloud up and have some passing showers. Uh, and our precipitation chance actually gets better tomorrow before it drops off into the weekend. And the reason being that wave of low pressure, which is now down to the south, is eventually going to get picked up and move north and ramp up our shower and storm chance into tomorrow. But then after it passes through, notice a few showers, thunder showers today into Thursday, more widespread precipitation as it rolls up into Ohio and eventually off into the Great Lakes. Uh, the moisture will start to draw down and by Friday night, a lot of it will be out of here. So Saturday, we'll just have a low end chance for a few lingering showers and storms. Rainfall from yesterday, at least over the past 24 hours, it's been the heaviest south, lightest north. Similar setup today with that low down to the south. Rainfall shows uh, hardly anything registering today and then tomorrow. It does pick up as that low does the same, picks up and pushes north. So we may end up with another half inch to an inch of rain on the high end. And today is the beginning of summer, June 21st at 1058 AM. The sun's directly over the Tropic of Cancer. It's the summer solstice and it'll feel like summer this weekend. Our normal high is 85. We're starting summer off 10 degrees below normal, roughly mid to upper 70s likely today. But we'll get into the mid to even upper 80s this weekend. And you want to know where the real heat is. Here's a big bullseye over Texas going into the end of the month. That heat continues. Uh, they've been in the uh, grips of a pretty wicked heat wave. They've got excessive heat warnings out, uh, heat advisories across much of the state. They've had triple digit highs for days in a row. And as far as the heat's concerned, it is going to continue to slowly draw down, at least back off a little bit Thursday and Friday, center more towards New Mexico and, of course, across Mexico where that big heat ridge is set up. So uh, they're still uh, broiling down across parts of Texas. We're in the mid 70s. We're well below normal, mostly cloudy skies, some scattered showers, occasional thunder showers around. So that's still an issue for us today. Mostly cloudy overnight, a few showers, thunder showers. And the storm chance ramps back up tomorrow. More widespread showers as low pressure passes us by and then starts to drop off Friday. So the timing is working in our favor. Into the weekend, we'll have our lowest chance for shower storms isolated by Sunday. Highs in the upper 80s. That could be a good pool day and it's going to be a close call because by the end of the weekend, here we go again. Early next week, that shower and storm chance starting to creep back into your storm tracker forecast.